so you are given this photo here of a limacon, okay? And this equation saying that r equals one half plus sine theta. All right, so if you notice, we have this inner part here. Actually, I should probably color it in a different color, make it blue. And then this part here in green. Doo -doo -doo. So great at coloring. Okay, so you're asked to find the part in green, not in blue, in green. Right? So if you were to take, use our equation that was one half from theta one to theta two of r squared d theta, you would get this part included in your integral. So what we want to do is find out when this happens, when this intersection point happens in our, our figure. So that way we can have this as one shape and then subtract that area, like have this small shape subtract that area. Okay, so that means here at the center our radius is zero. So we need to find when r equals zero. So r equals zero is equal to one half plus sine theta. So negative one half equals sine theta. Therefore theta equals the inverse sine of negative one half. So that comes out to two occurrences and that's 7 pi over 6 or negative pi over 6. And this is actually the same as 11 pi over 6. Because if you add 2 pi to it, it will be the same. So we're going to have to set up some integrals here. So our first one, we want our big thing minus our small thing. So our big thing here, we're going to start this at negative pi over 6. So that's where that's starting. Here we have negative pi over 6 and then goes to 7 pi over 6. Okay? So we have negative pi over 6 to 7 pi over 6. Okay? So that's the big thing. So this is in green. This Green. Okay, and then in blue, it starts and ends. It starts with 7 pi over 6 and then goes to 11 pi over 6. Okay. There we go. So our radius is the same the whole time, so we have 1 half plus sine of theta, that whole thing squared, d theta, minus 1 half times the integral from 7 pi over 6 to 11 pi over 6 of 1 half plus sine of theta squared, d theta. Okay, so this is equal to one half from negative pi over six to seven pi over six of one half squared is one fourth. One half times sine of theta is one half sine theta times two because you want to do it twice. So it's just sine theta. And then plus sine squared theta. Okay. Minus one half times the integral. We already know what it is. It's seven pi to over six to eleven pi over six of one fourth plus sine theta plus sine squared theta. 
data. Okay. So now I'm going to move to this board and say that I'm just going to pull out a one half from this whole giant thing. So I don't have to keep writing it over and over again. So negative pi over 6 to 7 pi over 6. And sine squared theta is equal to 1 half minus 1 half cosine 2 theta. So I'm going to write that in there as 1 fourth plus sine theta plus 1 half minus 1 half cosine 2 theta, theta minus the integral from 7 pi over 6 to 11 pi over 6 of the same thing, 1 fourth plus sine theta plus 1 half minus 1 half cosine 2 theta. Okay, if we do some u substitution, u equals 2 theta, du equals 2 d theta, 1 half du equals d theta. Okay. So again, we're going to break these integrals up a little bit. So while I break these up, I'm going to combine 1 fourth and 1 half. So we have 3 fourths plus sine theta. And then we have our minus. We have minus the integral from u1 to u2 of 1 half times 1 half becomes 1 fourth. So that's on the outside. It's not very attractive. It sort of looks better. Of cosine u du. Okay. And then we have minus. The integral from 7 pi over 6 to 11 pi over 6. Again, we have 3 fourths plus sine theta d theta. And then this negative and this negative become positive. We have plus 1 fourth. I call this u2 to u3 because this and this are actually the same number, whatever the conversion may be. But then we have cosine u d, and then close off that bracket. Okay. So let's integrate. Yay. <laughs> okay, so we have 3 fourths theta minus cosine theta. pi over 6 to 7 pi over 6 minus 1 fourth sine theta, sine u from u1 to u2 minus 3 fourths theta minus 3 fourths theta minus, this is minus cosine theta, but we have a negative here, so this becomes plus cosine theta. This is from 7 pi over 6 to 11 pi over 6. And then this is just plus 1 fourth sine theta. Sine u from u2 to u3. Close that bracket. Switch our u's back to thetas. Sine theta minus one fourth sine of two theta. And then minus.
Okay. So, all right. So I'm just going to tell you what this is. And that number is, comes out to pi plus 3 squared of 3 over 4. I could really go into showing you step by step how to do that, but that would take you another 15 minutes. So, the next thing, nope, I think that's the whole problem. Just kidding. So, so, the next thing you really want to do is just plug in this stuff in there. A lot of things will cancel out, double, combine, add them up, it'll come out to this nice little pi plus 3 pi over 4. There you go.